What up, guys? Welcome to Downtown Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Bogota, Colombia, for Thursday, February 29th, 2024, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel, that's R A Y M Y L O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Paramount Plus is giving a glimpse of the new film Little Wing. The streaming service shared a trailer for the movie Thursday featuring Brian Cox and Brooklyn Prince. Little Wing is inspired by the New Yorker article by Susan Orland about the world of pigeon racing. The coming-of-age story follows Caitlin, played by Prince, a teenager reeling from her parents' divorce and the pending loss of her home. Kaylin and her, uh, quote, her best friend hope to solve her mother's financial woes but stealing a valuable bird. But Caitlin instead forms a bond with the owner that leads her to a new outlook on life. Cox plays Jan, the pigeon racer, with Kelly Riley as Caitlin's mother, Maddie, and Che Tafari as Adam, Caitlin's classmate and friend. The Win Hails from Awesomeness. The film is written by John Gattins and directed and executive produced by Dean Israelite. Paramount Plus shared first look photos for the movie earlier this month. Little Wing premieres March 13th. Cox is known for playing Logan Roy on the HBO series Succession, while Prince recently starred in Cocaine Bear. Focus Features is teasing the new film, The Bike Riders. The studio shared a trailer for the drama Thursday featuring Tom Hardy and Austin Butler. The Bike Riders is inspired by the Danny Lyon uh, book, uh, photo book documenting the Outlaws MC. The film is written and directed by Jeff Nichols, known for Mud, Midnight Special, and Loving. Uh, Hardy and Butler star as Johnny and Benny, two members of the Vandals, a fictional 1960s motorcycle club in Chicago. The trailer shows Benny, played by Butler, start to question his future with the club as the organization changes under Johnny, played by Hardy's leadership, to include running drugs and gambling. The official synopsis reads, seen through the eyes of its members, the club evolves over the course of a decade from gathering uh, from a gathering place for local outsiders into a more sinister group, a gang, threatening the original group's unique way of life. Jody Comer, Michael Shannon, Mike Faist, Norman Reedus, and Boyd Holbrook also star. The, the Bike Riders opens in theaters June 21st. Shannon will also star in Death by Lightning, an upcoming Netflix series about the assassination of President James Garfield. And a related story, Belly Giplin and Nick Offerman have joined the cast of the Netflix series Death by Lightning. Netflix announced Wednesday that Giplin and Offerman will star with Michael Shannon and Matthew McFadden in the upcoming drama. Death by Lightning is based on the Candace Millard novel Destiny of the Republic. The series is created by Mike Mikowski and, direct, and executive produced by Matt Ross and Game of Thrones co-creator David Benedoff and D.B. Weiss. Death by Lightning recounts the rise of U.S. President James Garfield and his assassination by Charles Gateau. The show brings to life the epic and strange and fiction true story of Garfield, the reluctant 20th President of the United States, and Gateau, Garfield's greatest admirer, according to the press release. Shannon and McFadden were previously announced to play Garfield and Gateau. Gippen will, will portray First Lady Crete Garfield with Offerman as Vice President Chester Arthur. Giblin is known for playing Debbie Liter Liberty Bell Egan on the Netflix series Glow, while Offerman played uh, Ron Swatson on Parks and Recreations. Prime Video is giving a glimpse of the new film Musica. The streaming service shared a trailer for the movie Thursday featuring Randy McCusco and Camila Mendez. Musica is a romantic comedy written by McCusco and Dang Lagana and directed by McCusco. The film is described as a coming-of-age love story following an inspiring creator played by Mascusco with Synthiasia, a phenomenon that allows him to experience music with all of his senses. Mascusco's character must come to terms with an uncertain future while navigating the pressures of love, family, and his Brazilian culture in Newark, New Jersey, according to an official synopsis. J.B. Smoove and Francesca Real also star. 
Musica will have its world premiere March 13th at the SCXW Festival and starts streaming April 4th on Prime Video. Mancusco is an actor and comedian who came to fame on Vine and YouTube, while Mendez is an actress known for playing Veronica Lodge on Riverdale. Disney released the first photo for Tron Aries on Thursday. The film is in production in Vancouver. The photo shows Jared Leto in costume as the computer program Aries. 1982's Tron introduced the digital world inside computers. Human actors portrayed computer programs battling one another on light cycles with flying discs. 2010's Tron Legacy returned to the digital world. Jeff Bridges reprised his role as programmer Kevin Flynn and, and Bruce Bunks Laitler as programmer Alan Brady and his counterpart Tron. Aries brings the programs out into the real world. Greta Lee, Evan Peters, Hassan uh, Mejani, um, Jody Turner Smith, Arturo Castro, Cameron Monaghan, and Gillian Anderson star. Joaquin Ronning directs Disney will release Tron Aries in 2025. Netflix is teasing the South Korean series Chicken Nugget. The streaming service shared a trailer for the K drama Wednesday featuring Ryu Seung Rong. Uh, Chicken Nugget is a comedy drama following Sun Man, a father with an absurd mission to rescue his daughter Mina, played by King Young Joon. Who has returned, who's turned into a chicken nugget after a mishap with the strange machine. Ah Jean Hong also stars Bank Jong, an intern at Sun Man's company, who has a secret crush on Mina, with Jong Ho Ying as a top Korean culinary columnist. In the trailer, Sung Man and Bae Jean are seen protecting a chicken nugget, Minya, as they go to great lengths to turn her back. Chicken Nugget is directed by Lee Byung Hyun known for extreme job and be melodramatic. The series premieres March 15th on Netflix. Cote de Pablo and Michael Weatherly will return to star in an NCIS spinoff. The former NCIS stars will reprise their roles as Ziva David and Anthony Dinozo in a new series at Paramount Plus, the streaming service announced in the press release Wednesday. The Pablo will play Ziva in seasons 3 through 11 of the NCIS and appear in seasons 16 and 17, while Weatherly portrays Anthony in season 1 through 13 and appeared in season 21. NCIS previously saw Tony leave the NCIS team after Ziva's supposed death to raise their daughter. Years later, Ziva was discovered alive, leading her to complete one final mission with NCIS before she was reunited with Tony and their daughter in Paris. The spinoff opens in Paris, where Tony and Ziva have been raising their daughter Tally together. The official synopsis reads, when uh, Tony's secret... Uh, when Tony's security company is attacked, they must go on the run across Europe, trying to figure out who is after them and maybe even learn to trust each other again so that they can finally have their unconventional happily ever after. John McNamara wrote the premiere and will serve as the showrunner along with executive producing with DePablo, Weatherly, Laura Lizer, Christina Strain, and Shelley Meals. The 10 episode series will begin production later this year. Uh, Pablo and De Pablo and Weatherly said, We've been talking about this story for many years, and now with John McNamara at the helm, we are ready. The world of Tony and Ziva and their daughter Tally promises to be an action packed roller coaster fueled by love, danger, tears, and laughter. We also want to acknowledge and thank the fans from around the world who've supported the Tiva movement for years. The young adult Spy thriller Alex Ryder is returning for a third and final season on Amazon Freebie April 5th. All eight episodes will be released once the streaming service is announced Thursday. Uh, Anthony Horowitz, the show's executive producer and the author of the books on which it is based, said in a statement, It has been such a great experience seeing the fans' reaction to the first two seasons of Alex Ryder. I'm thrilled that this upcoming season will focus on Scorpia, as the story will lead Alex and viewers to question everything they've learned so far. The series follows Otto Ferrand as the titular London teenager who realizes he has been trained for the dangerous world of espionage since he was a child. Season 3 will see him trying to take down an elusive criminal syndicate called Scorpia. The cast also includes Vicky McClure, Stephen Delane, Brendan O'Connor, Ronique as usual. Shelley Kuhn, uh, Kevin McNally, and Jason Wong. Season 1 debuted in 2020, and Season 2 will air in 2021. 
Sylvester Stallone's crime drama Tulsa King is to premiere on CBS this summer. Executive produced by Taylor Sheridan, the show initially streamed on Paramount Plus in the fall winter of 2022. It follows New York Mafia capo Dwight the General Manfredi, who leaves prison after serving 25 years for murder and finds life as he knows it drastically changed. At the behest of his boss, Manfredi uh, heads to Oklahoma to find new illegal revenue streams. The ensemble cast also includes and- Andrea Savage, Martin Starr, Max Casella, Dominic Lombardazzi, Vincent Piazza, Will J, A.C. Peterson, Garrett Hedlon, and Dana Delaney. The show has been renewed for a second season, but no return date has been announced yet. Celebrities are still mourning the death of actor and comedian Richard Lewis. Larry David, Cheryl Hines, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Cusack, and other stars paid tribute to Lewis on social media following his death. Lewis, who played Marty Gold on Anything But Love and a fictionalized version of himself on Curb Your Enthusiasm, died of cardiac arrest on Tuesday at the age of 76. David, who created and starred on Curb Your Enthusiasm, reflected on his longtime friendship with Lewis, saying the actor was like a brother to me. David said in a statement, Richard and I were born three days apart in the same hospital, and for most of my life, he's been like a brother to me. He had that rare combination of being the funniest person and also the sweetest, but today he made me sob, and for that, I'll never forgive him. Hines, who played Cheryl David on Kirby Enthusiasm, voiced her love for Lewis online. She wrote, he would take time to tell the people he loved what they meant to him. In between takes on Curb, he would tell me how special I was to him and how much he loved me. To be loved by Richard Lewis, a true gift. I love you, Richard. You'll be missed. Hashtag Richard Lewis. Curtis, who starred with Lewis on Anything But Love, reflected on her time with Lewis and credited him with helping her get sober. She re- reflected, uh, he helped me. I'm forever grateful for him for that act of grace alone. He found love with Joyce which is his wife, and that, of course, besides his sobriety, is what mattered most to him. I'm weeping as I'm writing this strange way to say thank you to a sweet and funny man. Rest in, in laughter, Richard. Cusack remembered Lewis as a great friend. He wrote, shocked and saddened by Richard's passing. He was a great friend to me over the years and to so many, just beloved by everyone, it seems, and always spreading love and compassion. So talented, smart, humble, and heart of gold. Albert Brooks Michael McKean and HBO, which aired uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, also paid tribute to Lewis. Uh, HBO said, we are heartbroken to learn about Richard Lewis has, has passed away. His comedic brilliance, wit, and talent were unmatched. Richard will always be a cherished member of the HBO and Curb Your Enthusiasm families. Our heart condolences goes out to his family, friends, and all the fans who could count on Richard to brighten their days with laughter. Country music couple Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood would star, will star in a new docuseries. Prime Video announced in a press release Thursday that Brooks and Yearwood will appear in the upcoming show, Friends in Low Places. Friends in Low Places follows Brooks, Yearwood, and Friends as they set out to build the ultimate oasis, a honky-tonk in the heart of Nashville. The official synopsis reads, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, uh, T- Trisha Yearwood embark on their most personal journey yet to build the honky-tonk of their dreams in the heart of Nashville. Paying tribute to his roots, Garf enlists the help of his friends, day one tour teams, and an all-star hospitality group to open the epic four-story bar on Lower Broadway. His labor love and his thank you to the community of Music City. In a teaser for the docuseries, Brooks explains how he wanted the bar to capture the feeling and entertainment of his live shows. Uh, Brooks said in a statement, this was so much more than I bargained for. With, with that said, what we have built is far more than just a business. This is by far the craziest ride I've ever been on. He also added, we've started down uh, uh, this road fueled by passion and dedication and a start vision. Yearwood added, I'm really proud of the team that has built the Friends Bar and Honky Tonk. We're excited to share the culmination of everyone's efforts. It's even bigger than we have dreamed. Friends in Low Places premiered March 7th on Prime Video. Shakira announced the 17 tracks of her upcoming album on Tuesday, Las Mujeres no, Ya No Llore. 
is out March 22nd. The album begins with Puntiriera, a collaboration with Cardi B. A vinyl edition of the song also concludes the album. Next, Shakira collaborates with Biz the Rap on La Fuerte. The album also includes Biz Music Sessions Volume 53. And track 16 is a Tessio remix of Burr's Music Session. Raul Alejandro joins Shakira for two songs, Cojete and Te Lo, Feliz, Te Lo Felicito. Enter the parentheses featuring this group of Frontera. Ozuna, Carol G, Milan plus Sasha, Manuel Terizo, and Fuerza Regeda also joins uh, Shakira for tracks. So the tracks includes the uh, Tiempo Sin Verte, Como Donde Cuando, Naso, y Ultima. Las Mujeres Ya No Lloren is Shakira's 12th studio album. Eight are new tracks, seven were previously released and as singles, and one new remix. Shakira's won three Grammys and 14 Grammy Awards. Latin Grammy Awards. And finally, Casey Mudgraves is gearing up for the release of her new album. 35-year-old country music singer released a single and lyric video for the song Too Good To Be True on Thursday. Too Good To Be True appears on Musgraves' forthcoming album, Deeper Well. The album will feature the single Deeper Well, released earlier this month. Musgraves will release uh, Deeper Well on March 15th. In addition to her new song, Muzz Graves announced her Deeper Well World Tour on Thursday. The tour kicks off April 28th in Dublin, Ireland, and concludes December 7th in Nashville. Laura Huron, Father John Misty, Nickel Creek, and Maddie Diaz will appear on special guests on selected dates. Tickets go on sale March 8th with pre-sales for American Express card members to begin March 5th at 10 a.m. local time. RS pre-sales will start March 5th at 12 p.m. Deeper Well will mark Muv's Graves' first album since Star Cross, released in September 2021. In addition to her new music, Muv's Graves will perform as the musical guest Saturday on Saturday Night Live. And as your entertainment report for Thursday, February 29, 2024, I'm your host, Mr. Dan Tamray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.